right, let's talk about the Chicago Bears. Look, obviously this football team hasn't worked out record-wise the way a lot of people hoped, but their Bears have making a lot of really smart moves. And of course, one earlier this season, the trade line was the acquisition of Montez Sweat. And what the Bears have done with Montez Sweat in terms of his usage and the overall strategy of Chicago's defense is really smart, both in the short term and the long term. And we've got a great tweet to kind of highlight this. If you want to, I guess it's a post on X, whatever it is, put it up on the screen and we'll just dive into it. So again, this is from Quentin Crisco. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. And he said, the Montez Sweat edition has allowed the Bears to reduce their blitz rate while increasing their pass rush productivity. Here's a look at their week-by-week blitz rates, pressure rates, and PFF rush grades. The orange window represents the games played with Sweat roster. And I know there's a lot of lines on the chart, a lot of information. Basically, since they acquired Montez Sweat, the Bears have blitzed a lot less, and yet they've generated more pass rush generated more pressures and their PFF grade on the, on the defensive line has gone up. That speaks to the incredible amount of value that the bears have gotten from Montez sweat. So that should make bears fans feel really good about this. But I think there's another element here to understand and appreciate. And this is what coach Eberflus did. He obviously was blitzing a lot more earlier in the season when he acquired Montez sweat, he basically, or he basically got Montez sweat acquired for him. I should say he basically risked a lot. He could have sit there and said, okay, if I change my scheme up, and Montez Sweat performs like this, and the defense performs better, like the graph, that makes me look bad. That makes the GM look good. It makes the team overall look good, but it makes me, Everflus, looks bad as a coach. This is a great example of, I don't know if Everflus is a long-term answer, but it was a really smart move saying, listen, we're going to adjust our strategy and really see the impact Montez Sweat has. That is the key for the long-term success of Chicago is how dominant Montez Sweat can be as a pass rusher on the football team. I give a lot of credit to Everflus to saying, listen, we're going to adjust our strategy. We're going to blitz less, let Montez Sweat win a lot of these one-on-one matchups, let our front four generate more pass rushes on their own, see how they do. And they've done remarkably better. That is a great sign for the future of the Chicago Bears. Again, it might have been the final nail in the coffin for Everflus because, again, without Sweat, his strategy was different. And with Sweat, the defense got better. So it kind of indicates maybe strategically how he was running the defense wasn't the best thing. But irregardless, good news for the Chicago Bears. The Sweat edition looks like a really great one. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this data in front of us here. But first, Bears fans, look, another rivalry matchup in front of you. Detroit Lions, you guys played them really frisky in Detroit. You should have beat them. You outplayed them for three and a half quarters, 57 minutes. I don't know how that one was lost, but you did. But you get another chance at redemption this time at home. Give us your prediction. Final score, Bears versus Lions in the comment section below. But Myas, give me your thoughts on everything with Montez Sweat, the Bears, and just the future of this football team. Yeah, no, I think this is a really good move, and it's really starting to round out. Not only has Montez Sweat's play finally caught up to where it was, had a really great game against Minnesota, obviously two sacks there, three sacks in the last two games, being very productive on his own right. <laughs> but if you go even further into that tweet, Z, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it a tweet for posterity state. Uh, Crisco talks even more about how Sweat himself has elevated the play of the other players on that Bears defense, specifically talking about guys like Gravon Dexter, who's had really great games, DeMarcus Walker, great games, just Yannick Ngakwe has had a better play. All of these guys, since the addition of Sweat, their play has been significantly better than it had previously this season to that. I think this is just, we'll call it the Montez Sweat effect. He comes on this team, not only is the coach making smarter decisions now, not only is the defense playing better, but his teammates are playing better. I think it's just an overall better team. And when you look at the long and short of this, Nick, what more would you want from an acquisition if they make themselves better? They're playing very good. They make your coaching smarter moves, and now your players are playing better. This is just overall as good as it could possibly get for the Bears. Yes. Montez Sweat could have came in, got like 57 sacks in the season, done something insanely crazy, and the Bears still really bad on the defense side of the ball. And you'd feel like, well, was it really worth it? Now this guy comes in, he's doing pretty good, but elevating the play of the team around him, I think that's the key here because that's what you want is a guy who can not only be good himself, but he elevates the play and coaching of those all around him. I really think this is a key move. We don't give Ryan Poles enough credit. Some people prey on his downfalls a little bit. They think of Chase Claypool trade, but you got to think of all of these moves. He's done very good so far, and I really like what he did with this Montez Sweat move because I think it's going to pay dividends for them going forward. 
Oh, absolutely. Because look, when it comes to playing defense, it's essentially a ma math problem, especially pass defense. It's how many guys does it take of your defenders to get pressure on the quarterback versus how many you can keep in coverage. Obviously, ideally, you'd like to get pressure with three guys. So you can drop eight, but that's not realistic. So teams that can get pressure with four, like Dallas, like Philly, like San Francisco, like Baltimore, they are generally very good defensive teams. Teams that have to bring more guys, blitz five or six, and have fewer guys in coverage just to generate pressure – they usually struggle a lot more on defense. So again, this is just a math problem playing itself out here with the Chicago Bears. And that's a great sign for the future of the Bears because if they can go into the ranks of the 49ers, of the Eagles, in terms of generating a pass rush with fewer guys, that's going to be a major boost for the defense. And look, we saw it against the Minnesota Vikings. Josh Dobbs had been moving the football all up and down the field ever since he joined and became a starter of Minnesota. And he was totally clamped pretty much the entire game because of this Bears defense. And I think that's just a sign of things to come. I'm really excited what sweat this Bears D is going to present to Jared Goff for this uh, upcoming game here. But I do want to give a lot of credit here. And I know Everflus has gotten a lot of crap but he could have really taken this opportunity to maintain his heavy blitz package and kind of maybe generate more sacks, kind of run up the stats and just stick with his strategy and maybe make himself look better, like make him look how smart he is kind of thing. Instead, he adjusted his defensive scheme, blitzed less, rushed with the four, kind of proved Poles right. Again, that's a tough situation to be in because Poles is likely going to fire Eberflus at the end of the year. Instead of Eberflus sticking with his strategy, maybe making himself look a little bit better, he did what was right for the team in terms of what made sense strategy strategically i think it's a great move for the short term for eberflus i don't know if it'll be the end of his career as a head coach for the chicago bears but irregardless like i said earlier montez sweat his addition to this football team and the polls acquisition of him from uh from washington looks like a master class move by the bears and again if you keep stacking these great acquisitions dj moore montez sweat the draft picks you have coming up in 2024 this team is going to very quickly get really, really, really good. They're kind of a sleeping giant right now. They've got a lot of talented pieces, and they're getting better. And Montez Sweat's impact is going to play a big role in that.